Good morning, students. I've shared the questions in the WhatsApp group for today's practical. So we'll look to the first question. The question says find quartile deviation, coefficient of quartile deviation, standard deviation, and CV for the following data. So we'll learn how to obtain standard deviation, quartile deviation for all the three cases of distributions that is, discrete frequency, continuous frequency, and raw data. So I'll be using the Excel sheet as the whiteboard today. We'll take the first question. So we have been given with a variable. First question, size of some object or item. And then we have the count indicated by frequency. So we have the variable x is equal to size. And then we have the number of items of frequency, that is f. So this is a discrete frequency distribution. So first we'll enter the values in the table form. So we have the values of F even as 1, 4, 8, 5, 14, 6, 2. And the question says find quartile deviation and coefficient of quartile deviation. So we'll first list the formula. Now, quartile deviation, abbreviated as QD, is given by the formula Q3 minus Q1, that is upper quartile minus lower quartile divided by 2. And coefficient of quartile deviation is given by Q3 minus Q1 divided by the sum of the quartiles Q3 plus Q1. So, we have to obtain the values of the quartiles Q1, Q2, Q3. And in the last practicals, we have learned how to obtain the values of quartiles, mean, median, etc. for various types of distribution. So this is a frequency distribution. The first step when it comes to frequency distribution and you are talking about partition values are your x values must be in an order and you have to compute the values of LCF. Now, less than cumulative frequencies, you will add the frequencies from the top. First one remains the same. Then it will be 1 plus 4, 1 plus 4 plus 8, or 5 plus 8, 13, 13 plus 5, 18 plus 14, 32, plus 6, 38, and plus 2, 4. So this last frequency must be equal to the total of the frequencies. Mani, compute Mani, LCF for anyone? So this is capital N, which is also same as our sigma F. First, we have to obtain the position of Q1 and identify the respective LCF. Q1 is value of X with LCF just greater than N by 4. Now, when you look into N by 4, so it is 40 by 4 and that is equal to 10. So LCF greater than 10, we have LCF greater than 10 as 13. Therefore, 
the respective value of x is equal to 10, we have q1 is equal to 10. So the class of q1 comes to be, I mean, the value of q1 is equal to 10. Now similarly, obtain q3, position for q3 or q3 for discrete frequency distribution is defined as value of x with LCF just greater than 3n by 4, where n is the total frequency and 3n by 4 comes to be 3 into 40 by 4, which is equal to 30 and LCF greater than 30, LCF greater than 30 is 32 and the respective value of x is 14, therefore q3 is equal to 40. So you get qd is equal to 14 minus 10 divided by 2. 14 minus 10 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. Now suppose if units are given, say size in centimeters or inches, the same units will be attached to the measure. So for timing, we'll just keep it as units. But when we look into coefficient of QD, it is an unit free measure. And this value is 14 minus 10 divided by 14 plus 10, which comes to 4 divided by 28. steps follow Marcoli. Use your calculators to the calculations. So we have to compute standard deviation. Standard deviation is indicated by sigma and is given by the formula. Sigma is equal to square root of sigma fx square by n divided by x bar square. So I'll be using the simplified formula of the standard deviation total of fx square. Now when I say fx square, I mean f into square of x value. So I have to compute the square of every x value, multiply that by the respective frequency, and then take the total. It is not same as fx whole square. fx whole square is a different concept. Now this is, and then subtracted by the square of the mean. So first you have to compute mean, and the formula, since it is frequency distribution, mean is x bar is equal to sigma fx divided by sigma f. So I have to obtain fx. Money calculation, Marty. So obtain fx, x square, f into x square, and their totals. So in the next column, you will have fx, and then x square, and then f into x square. and obtain the totals. Go the low calculation. So, no doubt, clear mark, colleague. 
don't worry about that i'm doing in excel just think that i'm using the whiteboard so calculators use maadi values compute maadi So you have sigma fx. Obtain the total of the column fx. Bury the table only. Last column only. So I mean last row only. Sigma fx. H bar that the total indicate man beko. And then we need the total of f into x square, which is sigma fx square. And then substitute these totals in the formula of mean and standard deviation. So you're getting sigma f x as five hundred and six, and sigma f x squared. Oh, sorry. Total of six seven four zero. And sigma f x is five zero six. So mean becomes five zero six divided by forty, which is equal to twelve point six five. Now to compute standard deviation, substitute these values in the formula of standard deviation. So we have square root of sigma f x square. Sigma f x square. We have obtained it as six seven four zero. So square root of six seven four zero divided by forty. Minus x bar square. So we have computed x bar. We have to square it and obtain the ratio. Subtract it by twelve point six five square, and then take the square root. So first to divide mark only six seven four zero divided by forty. Then take the square of twelve point six five. Obtain the difference, and then take the square root. So almost the computational steps for standard deviation of all the type of data will be the same. But Tadia, are you getting the same total, same answers? Don't try to copy. Use calculator, verify the answers, and write.
we get standard deviation as 2.9116. Now, if you have any confusion in the computational steps, please ask me, make it clear. And then we need CV. CV is coefficient of variation given by standard deviation divided by arithmetic mean into 100. So here that will be equal to 2.9116 divided by mean 12.65 into 100. Take your time, do the computations, verify the answer. So these are the calculations. So we'll have columns X, F, LCF, FX, X square, and F into X square. Now the answer is one the check mark. And then you have the formula of QD, coefficient of QD, then the values of Q1 and Q3. We have sigma fx 506, sigma fx square 6740. So we substitute that in the formula of AM and standard deviation. Table only calculate last row only the bari weko total sella sigma f atwa n then sigma fx sigma fx square. Then write the formula of mean x bar is equal to sigma fx by sigma f. Now 
and then the formula of standard deviation and the simplification of that. Please share your answers in the message or you can unmute and speak. We'll just verify the answer. If you are getting the same values, then you are somewhat correct on the right path. So simplify, substitute and simplify. You will get standard deviation as Aita, calculations, Aita, are you getting similar answers? If so, we'll move to the next question. The question B, 1B, we have raw data there. Only the values of X are given. Only X are given, it is then raw data. So we'll enter it in a column. For the computation of standard deviation, we need the square of the values of X. So we'll compute X square. Yeah. 
and then we need the totals. So we have sigma x is equal to 110 and sigma x square is equal to 1466 and n small n which is the number of observations that is equal to 10. And we have n is equal to 10. So we'll have standard deviation given by the formula, same formula, but there will be no f because frequencies are not there. So it will be just the square root of sigma x square divided by small n minus x bar square, where here x bar is sigma x by n. So first compute x bar, substitute the values, simplify. Sigma x by n. And to obtain quartile deviations and coefficient, we need to obtain quartiles. And since it is raw data, the first step in obtaining the quartiles is arranging them in a increasing order. Substitute Madi. answer so you get mean is equal to 110 by n is equal to 10. So mention it below the table. Table calculated by the formulas calculation cell. Table for the So we have 110 by 10. So mean comes to be 11. Now consider this mean value as well as the total of fx square into the standard deviation calculation. So 1466 divided by 10 minus 11 square. So first divide 1466 by 10, you get 146.6. 11 square is 121. So 146.6 minus 121 will get you 25.6. And square root of that will be your standard deviation. This comes to 5.0596. Next, arrange your x values in an order and compute the quartiles, quartile deviation, and coefficient of quartile deviation. the array q1 is given by small n plus 1 divided by fourth value which simplifies to 10 plus 1 11 11 by 4 is equal to 2.75 value and if you get decimal is the position in case of raw data you have to expand it so it will be second value plus 0 0.75 into third minus second value. So refer your previous practicals as well as your theory notes if you have doubt in the calculations of Q1. This comes to second value in the range data is 5 plus 0 0.75 times of third value is 7 minus 5.
your one comes to so seven minus five. And compute Q3 similarly and substitute them in the formula of QD and coefficient of Q. Formula for Q3 or its position is 3 times of n plus 1 by 4 value of x, which simplifies to 8.25 value. Now expand this, substitute, and give me the answer for Q3. Martha Vira, Obra answer share model line. No. Fifteen point two five, sir. Okay, now compute QD and coefficient of QD. You three value on city health resident. One. This one is eight point two five. Sorry, the alpha three into eleven by four. Eight point two five. When we expand that, we get eight plus zero point five to nine minus eight. Two four six eight value is fifteen. So you will have fifteen plus zero point two five into. 16 minus 15. 16 minus 15 is 1. 1 into 2.25. So Q3 comes to 15.25. Okay. Now once you have your Q3, you can compute Q3. QD is equal to Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2, which comes to 15.25 minus 6.5 divided by 2. comes to 4.375. Compute coefficient of QD. Also obtain CV. Means and deviation of Takshna. All CV no keli dhane. So write the formula for coefficient of variation. Standard deviation by mean into 100. And compute that also. Give me the value of coefficient of QD. Fifty point nine zero nine. How much? Coefficient. I yeah, the C yeah. QD, sir. Give me CV or coefficient of QD. 
Did you get 5.05 as standard deviation? 5.6. Total list is x squared though. Sorry, mm -hmm. yeah, 1, 5 something. 1, 4, 6, 6. So 1, 4, 6, 6 divided by 10 and 146.6. One forty six point six divided minus one twenty one. Who said so square root of twenty five point six five point zero five over by round of smart body four digits were in body. So then go to the next problem. Next one is a continuous frequency distribution. Now steps of computation of mean and standard deviation remain similar to that of first problem. Only thing is they have given class interval, you will obtain the values of X midpoints and debate first. I tied though. Complete it. Yes, sir. We'll take the next one.